Luf, as in peace camp. I've been thinking about still a nuclear submarine. You guys actually live here? Yeah. yeah. I said you were with the BBC, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah. If you go past Glasgow and keep going west, you get past Dumbarton and you get to here, to Gairloch. You can take the bus, get just past here, you get to Faz Lane. So this is where all the nuclear submarines sit. And if you look just across the road here, you'll see this. This is the Faz Lane Peace Camp. So as it says outside, this became the site of a permanent protest in 1982. I think there was maybe around six people lived here, it said. So I don't know if there's anybody still living here. Let's go in and find out. I mean, it looks like, certainly in this one, there hasn't been anybody living here for quite some time. As you can probably hear, this is right by the road. And the reason for that is obviously just to make it as visible as possible. So if you drive up here to Faz Lane, you'll definitely drive by this. Hi, Hi uh, how are you doing? All right, see, how, how you doing? doing? My name's Raymond, by the way. Jag. Jag, how are you yeah. doing? Finn, yeah. Raymond, you guys actually live here? Yeah. yeah. So you've, you've lived here for a month then, yeah? Pretty much, yeah. I saw, because I was reading online that there was, people have been here since 1982. Yeah. yeah. But, so is there anybody that still no. lives here then? No. no. Not that long. We've uh, been here about a decade. Ah, mm. right, okay. People come and go, so uh, it changes over days about. Mm. That's interesting, all right, cool. Yeah, it's 18, it was, um, didn't they put the camp up on Hiroshima Day? I'm not sure. Maybe not. No? No, 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 it was, no. No, it was just before that, mm -hmm. I think. Ah, right, okay. But yeah, cool. fuck, trees been here as long as the camp has. It was planted by survivors in Hiroshima. It was planted by survivors? Done some major re-plumbing and we chop a lot of firewood in there. So, um, ah, right, okay. So, so yeah, it's it's a mess, but it's very well sorted. Yeah. yeah it's been, it's yeah. Obviously been put in high pressure hot water. We've got a stove that's got mm -hmm. a boiler system yeah. and radiators. And Brilliant. Yeah, good. Yeah. So good. Lot, it's a lot less daunting doing the washing up than you're doing when you're hot water. I don't know why, I thought it would be a lot bigger. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you guys have got like heating in that inside or do you just like... Yeah, there's um, there's a wood fired range in there. Um, right, okay. It doesn't really give off a lot of heat as a stove, it all gets used up. You know? So there's four radiators in there, you know, because mm -hmm. that's the only way, uh, it's a, I don't know, whatever, it's a very efficient stove. Yeah. So yeah, we've got radiators, hot water, um, cool. solar, power and all sorts of things, uh -huh. it's, um, well, yeah. it's a really well put together camp, but then they've had sort of 40 odd years to do it. I took some time out of campaigning, I started getting a bit stir crazy and a friend came up to you know, do a bit of work around the site and check yeah. it out, I came up with him. 200 people live here? A number between 2 and 200 to be precise, I mean right. things like numbers on camp, that's information that generally speaking an activist won't like to give out. Yeah. It's not that I don't trust you. I mean, I yeah. don't, right? I don't f***ing know you. You learn to trust very, very slowly, you know? I mean, a little bit of trust will get you a long way. A relatively peaceful existence. So did you say you were campaigning before this then, before you came up here? Yeah. HS2 camp, is that like just to stop them, uh, try to stop them building? You know, a country with food banks, right, cannot afford in high speed rail network. Yep. A company with a country with an existing railway, yep. rail network can't mm -hmm. afford to build a new one the 
Aye. It doesn't do anything. Yep. You know what I mean? It's just a humongous great bung to the construction industry. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, they're dispossessing people, destroying livelihoods, yep. slaughtering f***ing wildlife. And, uh, and, then, and then we've got nurses using food banks. Yep. So f*** them. I mean, here's the thing, right? They estimated the cost at one point at about 100 billion quid. And that's how much f***ing money those plan to waste yep. on a vanity and Aye. most taxpayers would prefer to have a functioning health service. Aye. You know? For sure. So, so yeah. Anyways. Well, the thing is, you can't not be political, right? It's impossible Aye. to be apolitical in this world. Because even, even sitting down watching TV and doing nothing is a political f***ing choice, right? Because apathy is going to kill us a lot quicker than the far right ever can. Aye. By the way, smell this. This is gorgeous. Where's that? Cyprus. Let's put it this way, if you said you were with the BBC, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Yeah. Right. And the BBC's about as apolitical as Joseph Goebbels. Aye. Well, free to me to grab a seat and to grab a tea if there's one. Aye? How are you doing, man? You alright? I dumped all my stuff on yeah. everything when I came out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So you guys all live here as well? Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the communal. We've got a uh, central heating at the back. Aye. There's radiators uh -huh. at the back and uh -huh. that's all fed off the boiler. Aye. Which is all wood powered. When all the electricity comes off the solar, right, like on the roof. Mm -hmm. So you guys have all got, I guess, like bedrooms and stuff and... Uh, yeah, yeah, it's caravans. Oh, caravans? caravans are, yeah, yeah. They're not really good with visitors, you know? <laughs> like, I, I, I can't believe I'm the sociable Ah, uh, the sociable one. one. I never asked your name. <laughs> I'm Leon. So. Leon, I'm Raymond. So how did you find out about the place? Just online, I think there was actually a news article or something. Nice. And uh, I was like, that sounds quite interesting. Let me go up and have a look and see. Yeah, everywhere you look, there's just something to read. So you've been here like seven months? Solid, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty right. much, yeah. I went away for Christmas, but I came back, like, gently. So what do you do then? Yeah, like, I mean... Uh, chop wood. Chop wood? Carry water. Aye. Uh, well, there's no carry water here. Right, okay, yeah. Coming, but, yeah. Aye. Well, that's a joke. There's always something to do. Aye. I'd imagine so, aye. Normally you'll come in and the fire's roaring, but these slackers haven't been doing anything. <laughs> so, you know. Aye, I know. I, I saw your, your, your mate was chopping wood, though. Ah, nice. Uh, Alright, this is cool. Doesn't it ever get like really cold in here? Because it's like, uh, I mean, obviously it it's not. that well insulated, but the uh, uh, heating like does it once the thing's on. Oh, uh, right, okay. Uh. But it does get very cold in here. If the I was wondering, I was thinking like during, during the winter, it must yeah, be like yeah. really, really cold in here. Yeah, the gas froze over uh, 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 like, uh. Like, during January. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't like advertise that anyone could stay here. Yeah, it's basically someone comes here and we like, Decides if, if ed, everyone's okay with them staying. Like, I just came up here and, like, decided I was staying and no one had a problem. So, mm -hmm. so why did you decide to come up here, man? Well, I just thought I needed a bit of a break, you know? Aye. I, I was staying at a flat up in Dublin Hill. Aye. It just wasn't working for me. Aye. Need some purpose, you know? Aye. Uh, waking up freezing cold, needing to get wood into my fire yep. is purpose. In a way. Aye, aye. A day in the life. Mm -hmm. uh, we, there's, there's definitely chopping wood in there. And yeah, we always have a communal meal. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's normally me or someone else that does that because we're mm -hmm. the best chefs. But yeah, it normally depends on who it is. Like I'll normally like cover cover the dinner and like mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it mm -hmm. just depends. Where do you buy your food here? Like uh we have like a semi commercial thing. Mm -hmm. Like we, we can like order food in, but we normally don't. We normally just acquire it. Aye. Uh, how would you do that? Uh Ben's. What's that? Just go to the M&S bins, round the back. Ah, and, uh, right, okay. They throw out right, all their nice right. fancy meat that's Aye. a day old. And it's, yeah. Right, okay. Saving the planet. No? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't think anyone else is eating it. <laughs> it's illegal uh. for them to bid it. Aye. So uh -huh, they, they can okay. phone the police on us if we go and take it either. You do as well. I know there's an app called Too Good To Go. Yeah, I used to use that in Brighton because there were tons yeah. of like takeaway places. Aye. So it was really good. Brighton? Why were you down there? I was going to uni there. Uni? Yeah, oh, right. I was doing chemistry. Chemistry? Didn't, didn't go so well. No. <laughs> so I'm here. Aye. Uh. <laughs>
You just chose a different path, so... Yeah, yeah, different that's okay. path. That's what I tell myself. Yeah, that's okay, yeah. 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 What is it usually using? A boil water? Uh, the, like, gas cooker. Uh, visitors, usually, or...? Uh, usually in the summer. Most people yeah. don't come up in the winter. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, yeah. Clearly, we're, we're not prepared for visitors. <laughs> no, it's interesting to have visitors up. Mm -hmm. aye. So, brings a bit of change, you know? Aye, aye, yeah, aye, of course. aye. A lot of people come, like, in the, in the summer? Uh, like, over over the, like, whole of it, I think aye. so. But I've not actually been here over the summer. I came just at the end. Aye, aye, aye. Yeah, so when did you say months. seven months ago? Yeah, yeah. Aye, so. Is that, do you know what your plan is then? Are you going to stay here? Like. Uh, yeah, I think so, yeah. Aye. Yeah, I guess I started doing like volunteering work, mm -hmm. but then the place I was volunteering it closed down, mm -hmm. and I just didn't really have anything to do where I was uh -huh. staying. Yeah. So it was yeah, mm -hmm. something to do. But yeah, if I'd known this place was here, I would have came up a lot earlier. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't. Mm -hmm. People had vaguely said like, "Oh, go to Fazlane, check mm -hmm. this place out," but I didn't really know what it was. You know? Yeah. Ah, uh, well, I guess it's been here for a long time, hasn't it? So, okay. 1982. Uh, it says online it was so it's two people came up here just to demonstrate and then just did. I don't know, I guess somebody's told you the story of, like, how this started here. Not very clearly. I don't uh, think anyone really knows. Uh, I, I know the two buses came up with the first people. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, the two old school buses. Yep. And I'm guessing it was all, like, New Age Traveller lot who weren't happy about the bombs being put there. Yeah, to keep this place open is the main one. Yeah. Followed mm. by protests against the base. So some uh -huh. people, like, block off their, like, mm -hmm. exits. There must be people will be arrested for that, like... Ah, uh, yeah. Aye. Uh, they don't normally prosecute, though. No. Like, they normally dismiss it by this, because none of the judges, they, they deal with actual crimes. They uh, don't want to deal with political stuff. I've been thinking about stealing a nuclear submarine, though. I, uh, I found like a I decent don't... entrance, so uh, I, I just need like five more people to be able to pilot one. I uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I... We've got we've got how to pilot one over there. Yeah, yeah it's one of the books up there. Oh, Take boy. milk, sugar, sugar, aye. Soy milk. Aye, that would be great. Yeah, aye. Yeah, Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Because mm. I not know how much milk or sugar. That's so all right, man. Aye. Do it yourself. Thank you very much. There's there's meat. Would you like to try some meat? We have like however much. Oh Jesus! They really went through it. That was full one out there. Yeah. <laughs> That's we like fifty meters. That's insane. That was nice. Thanks for inviting us in, man. Good tea. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a tea man. You as well. It is really hard to get water hot enough here to actually make decent tea. Aye. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's only really decent if the gas is on. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you usually cook uh, there in that room? Uh, it depends what we're cooking. So like for, for fancier stuff that you need like a, special, a certain heat, we'll use that. But if you're just like boiling stuff, then put it on there. Uh-huh, okay. So I would talk to you into staying. You just feel like you just feel like coming up. Uh, up I, here. I feel like I need to go back to work on Monday, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 hey, we just uh, acquisitioned hey. some of your tea. Jeez, you should be telling the queen to f off next. How was it? All right. I got myself a new guitar. Where, where, where? So many instruments. <laughs> mm -hmm. Where do you usually get them? Ah. Uh, I think they're donated mostly, donated, the pianos yeah. are, are like donated. So this radiation jacket, some, someone donated that uh -huh, like a week ago. Uh -huh. came with a full gas mask. Ah, yeah, <laughs> okay. Someone came to site and dropped it off. I guess they knew we were into nuclear stuff. Like... Uh, hello, Faslin Peace Camp. Uh, yeah, I'm alright, yeah. No pressure. I don't know, I mean, I, I smoke too much, my voice is shy. No, it gives it a rustic charm. I play better in, like, a, in a, a wood to 100 miles from a human. A drug dealer from Preston taught me that. Mm -hmm. like... I had a girlfriend once who asked me to write her a song. Mm -hmm. I had a few lyrics, but most of them rhymed with punt. And then you send them up at me, this is the 
and signature tune. It's Kermit's Rainbow Song. You know. Right. Okay. I've been. I would like one day to have the Kermit impression and then this sort of. That's it, Raymond, I've put it, put it here. Alright, right. <laughs> cheers guys, see you later. Eh? So there you go, visitors, welcome. Fazlane Peace Camp. So if you're coming up this way, maybe stop in, see if they'll give you a cup of tea.